Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have something really, really cool. I honestly never thought it would happen with Zoho, but we're here and it's exciting. And basically what it is, is Canvas. Now I have other videos on Canvas. Some of you are probably wondering, what is he talking about? Like he's already did a video on this a year ago. Well, what Zoho has recently done is they have allowed you to use Canvas in the list view. So of all your records, you can do three different styles of Canvas. And within that, you can also put Canvas rules. So for the very first time, when you're looking at a list of records, you can have them dynamically changing color, changing font, changing size, based on some criteria you give it. That is super, super asked for, wanted, all the words you can think of. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you where to find this new Canvas feature, how to use it, and then some tips and tricks with it. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. And feel free to uh, check out our inner circle. It's a great place for you to learn what we know. We've basically taken 10 years of our knowledge, dumped it into one place where you can go, one-time fee, get all of that information, our top partners, how to migrate CRMs, how to keep track of workflows, all kinds of stuff that's very, very exclusive and sought after. See you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. Where you're gonna find all this information is in the back end of your CRM. So you get to this page by hitting the little settings icon, right? And then it's all gonna be under this tab called Canvas. Now, Zoho's rolling this out to people as we speak, we're in July. You, if you don't see Canvas, you should, but if you don't, this is where it'll be under customization very soon. So when I click on this, there will probably be some pop-ups for you the first time where you'll be able to watch some videos. There is a help article. I'd encourage you to check that out. My video will show a bunch, but feel free to check that out. So number one, you have to choose which module you want this for, right? So you can make it for just about any module, even custom ones, which is really, really cool. Number two, they have like a few options. So if I go here, you'll see the preview here. So it's basically like kind of what we're used to seeing. It, this has been out for a while where you could like put an image and then you can put some text and then the owner, things like that. This is a new one, it's a tile. So think of realtors, car companies, basically anyone that sells a product. So you can actually put the product image here. Right. Then lastly is the table. So you can basically use what Zoho already has, kind of the list view, but make it in more of a table format, have it different colors and things like that. So in today's video, at least this first video, I'm going to show the custom list and show you how to use that. Please comment below if you want me to show you the other methods. They're all basically the same, just slightly different interface but I'm gonna start with the custom list. So I already started building one here. You would just hit create and it would bring you to a page here where you could choose an existing template. And so I did that, I chose an existing one. And then basically, and this goes for all of the different canvases, you have all the fields on the left. And if you wanna bring them into view, you just click and drag. And then you can do all kinds of things with it. You can resize. If you click on this, you can make it align differently. You can also do background colors on the text, you could do border, radius, margin, padding, all kinds of stuff. Here's the text color. Some little tips here. For example, if I make the text black, you can actually get rid of this or at least change the name. So this can be the record owner, but let's say it's called created by in the CRM, right? Let's say you're like, I don't, I, no one in my team likes to call it created by. So you can actually make your own title. So you could say record owner or something. We see this a lot in like insurance where they call it like policy owner and in the CRM that is a user, but really in insurance, that's the person who is paying the policy. So yeah, those are just some little tips, but the main thing I wanted to show you is this is how you customize the canvas. So on the left, you have data, which are all the fields. Then you have elements. You can put a section, text, image, icon, or line. So you can see examples of all of that. Here's an image, here's an icon. Like if I click on icon here, You'll see I have all these different options. So you could put like little things like that in here, move them around, and it, it just makes the, the CRM more personalized, right? Now, this is probably the coolest part that I was mentioning. And just to kind of give you a little flavor, I know I mentioned I'd only show one, but just to give you an idea here, let me create a new one. I'll do it for leads as well. Actually, I'll do it for, uh, let's say accounts. And I will do the tile. 
just so you can see how this all works. So you see Zoho already has some for you. So you'll say, yeah, I like this one, select. So now it has the account and then it's the same thing. You click and drag, move stuff over, make the tile bigger, smaller, whatever. Now, the cool thing I wanted to show you was this. Let's say that we want the last activity time on this page, right? And so we'll bring last activity time onto this page. So we want to know the last time someone interacted with this file. Let's pretend that you want things to be a certain color based on the activity time. So this is the really cool part. Now what you can do is you can do something called a canvas rule. So if I click here, I'm going to create a canvas rule. I'm going to do one. This is a hypothetical based off of the last activity time. And I'm just going to say last activity time is let's just say today. So if the record has been modified today, if I hit apply, you see the rule is now applied and now I can tell it what to do. So let's say I make the record light green if it's been modified today. And so now when I hit save, if I go to my actual leads, you could see nothing has uh, is any color. And you can see this one's been modified today, so it's green. Now, if I go back here and I make another conditional rule uh, and I say last, activity time is empty apply so now if it's empty i'm going to make it red and you could do all kinds of things you can do image you can do gradient and so you can kind of do something like this and now we'll hit save so now if i go back here You'll see here there's two red ones. And so this is a very limited example of what you can do. But for example, if I go into Ronald and I create a new task, I say testing or called Ronald, I say it is today, I hit save. That'll count as an activity. So now if I go back to the leads, you'll see this will change. So now it's green. You can see how as you're using the system, it can start dynamically changing colors, which I think is the coolest part of this whole thing. And it doesn't have to be activity time. It could be deal size, lead status, whatever. And this conditional formatting works for all of the record layout types. So you can do it for custom view, tile view, table view, whichever one you want. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. Please leave some comments if you want me to go deeper into any specific field. But this was the big thing I wanted to show you. This can now transform the way you work in many ways. A lot of people have been asking for colors for a long time. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, check out our inner circle. It's a great place to learn stuff like this and see you in the next video.